KJ, what's what's your biggest single takeaway from what happened Saturday? Uh, I think that we just figured out that we could be beat. <laughs> um, and that's just the takeaway from it is that you just learn from the mistakes that we had in that game and you move on. I'm just glad that it happened Saturday rather than first game in March or the first game in a conference tournament or things like that. So um, I don't want to lose ever, but if I had to choose a time to lose, then Saturday would have been the perfect time. Yanni, what's kind of your reaction to you had some struggles Saturday night at the line and a few other moments? How do you men mentally, do you, how do you kind of process that game yeah. versus the entire season? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was obviously very frustrated, probably more frustrated than any fan was at me. So, um, I mean, I can't dwell on it too much. Um, you know, I reflected on it Saturday night, and then Sunday I was back in the gym, um, back shooting, working on my stroke, um, mental reps, and then back in there this morning again. I mean, I can't sit in my room and dwell on it, so just got to get back in the gym and, and work on it and, and try and improve for the next game. Yeah, you, early in that game, you were called for a travel on a spin move you've done probably 100 times this season and not been called for travel. And a couple plays later, you're called for a charge. A few plays, I think, indicated the guy was way inside the restraining line and thought he was moving. Um, how hard, is it, how frustrating is it as a player when that happens early in a game? You know, all those are so your two go to moves that you maybe you're thinking, I can't do now. Uh, how do you kind of go forward and do it like that? And how does it sort of spiral from there? Yeah, the early calls were definitely frustrating, um, but came in a timeout and I was fired up. You know, I was frustrated with the calls, but, um, you know, I came out that much more aggressive and I, I, didn't, I didn't let it worry me or affect me. So um, came out, had a dunk, and then I kind of just forgot about the rest of it and just tried to play my game. Have you gone back and looked at those two calls on, on film? Yes, I have. And what was your? Um, travel was controversial. I don't know. It was a 50-50 call, maybe. Um, the charge, you know, I don't think it was a charge personally. But, you know, you can't get every call your way. Okay, Jay, to follow up on your comment, besides the timing, better now than in March, is there ever such thing as a good loss? Uh, in my head, no. I don't like the fact that they could have that um, talking point or uh, that bragging point over us that they ended our streak. So I don't think that um, it's ever a good loss um, in that perspective. But. Just judging off the situation and the timing that we're in and the time of the season that we're in heading into March, just in that type of, type of realm, I would say that it was, it was a good time to take the loss. How about you, Young? Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's ever a good time for a loss. Um, at this point in the season, um, teams have been playing together for three or four months now, so they're starting to click. Um, so there's little room for error. I mean, at this point in late February, um, you have to be playing well, regardless of who you're playing, to win a game. So um, we slipped up um, from top to bottom. We didn't perform to our um, to our best level on Saturday. And um, I mean, on the offensive side of things, um, the floor was packed. Um, we didn't spread the court much. So I mean, it was a cumulative accumulation of um, several factors. Um, and it's obviously frustrating that we take a loss. But like KJ said, it's better now than um, in a knockout tournament. So. Nola, you've been in this program for five years. You've been through a lot of ups and a few downs. Um, you've seen a ton of wins, and you've seen some losses, too. How do you think this team has reacted to this loss? Has it been different than um, teams? You know, I think it was hard for us at first to accept that, you know, we finally got beat. But um, I feel like we reacted to it well. We let it add fuel to the fire. And it's just going to motivate us more going into the tournament now, like, hey, we got some things we need to fix, and I think we'll be all right. What's different about this team than maybe some other ones in its ability, do you think, to come back? I would say our chemistry, um, the ability that we have to trust in one another, knowing that, you know, in tough times, we have tons of capable people that can make a play. So I think just knowing that we're fine and the chemistry we have is, you know, unmatched. So. For any of you guys, Coach talked a lot about how Dot, you know, in the big picture, the defense was pretty good. If you look at the numbers, it was it was really good in the second half. He thought the problems were more on the offensive end. What, what particularly do you think went wrong and, and could be changed? Um, I don't think anything negative happened. I think that 
uh, if a couple of shots go our way, then we're, we're having a totally different conversation right now. So um, when you take a loss, everything is kind of magnified. And one um, blessing, I, I guess I could say a curse about this team is that we have a lot of talented players. And like Coach said, we all feel that we could take over a game at any point. And it's not a selfish thing on any of us. It's just a natural instinct thing of, I have the ability to do it, so why not try and go do it? It's not that I'm taking away from Yanni. I'm not taking away from Malachi. It's just that we all have a supreme belief in ourselves. So I think we all, at one point in that game, tried to be a hero and it just didn't work out for us and it worked in UNLV's favor. So uh, we just weren't ourselves Saturday. And I think that we have a smart team to know that even after the game, I could have told you what went wrong. I think we all knew what went wrong after the game. So like I said, it's just one game and um, we're just looking forward to Tuesday to kind of release all this tension and um, uh, bitterness that we have from this loss. So um, I don't think anything particularly happened that was uncharacteristic of us. Uh, we just didn't hit shots, and when you don't hit shots in there on a hot streak like that, um, your chances of winning decrease. So I think we'll be fine. How much, if any, pressure did that 26-game win streak carry with it, and has any of that been sort of released now that the first loss is out of the way? I don't think that we really felt the pressure. Um, I mean, we're just out there having fun. We're just trying to take it game by game. and and worry about the next opponent. We didn't really think too much about the record and the undefeated season and all that. We were just enjoying the ride. Um, and I mean, now that we have a loss, um, we came in yesterday and the urgency was uh, picked up a notch. So um, we're looking forward to another you know, practice where everyone's kind of locked in and, and looking forward to the next game. And then um, we're all obviously super uh, excited to get back on the floor Tuesday and try to have this bounce back game. Dad mentioned a few minutes ago that this team had Of course, I think this is when um, our swagger shows the most is after you've been, you know, beaten up and bruised, you know, um, your armor has been chinked a little. You show how, how real you are as a hooper and you show how real you are as a team. So I think that we're excited to show what we're really about now that we've kind of taken one little lump just to get back on our hump and just show that we, we are as good as advertised. KJ, was there on a, on a weekend in the day when Baylor lost, Gonzaga lost, Maryland lost, Penn State lost, a lot in that top 10, top teams. As you guys kind of collect pieces of history on this ride, did, did it feel like a missed opportunity there that, you know, maybe the highest ranking ever? And also, you guys only dropped one spot to fifth. Were you surprised maybe you weren't penalized in the eyes of the, the voters in that way? Uh, in terms of just the rankings and the eyes of the voters, I think these are things that ultimately are out of our control. I think that we could play a great game and ultimately it's up to somebody whose opinion that I have no control over. We have no control over what they rank us, regardless if we're winning or if we're losing. So um, I'm just upset that we lost personally. I just don't like losing. Um, I'm not really... Um, mad about the, the streak or undefeated or the lockup tour things that came with that. I think we were just chasing wins and anything, the rankings that came with it were an extra. So I'm just mad that we lost the game personally. Anything other than that, I don't really uh, put too much stock in. Yeah, there's tons of uh, seniors around the country that seasons are gonna end in four or five games for them that don't have a shot at a national title. How comforting is it that you guys as seniors have put yourself in such a position that your careers may not end, you know, in four or five games? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a great feeling knowing that we have the potential to go to um, a March Madness um, that none of us, I mean, other than Nolan, KJ and I haven't gone to a, a March Madness before, so um, we're obviously very excited about that. That's the bigger picture, but I mean, right now, um, we could, you know, it could be a possibility that our season ends in four or five games. Um, so right now we're just trying to lock in and focus on this Colorado State game. And it's obvious that we can't, we're not invincible. Um, we lost on Saturday night, so all we can worry about is the next game. And, uh, and for now, that's Colorado State. I mean, with this being senior night on Tuesday night, can you kind of reflect on your time being here at San Diego State and the memories that you have and just reflect on that a little bit? Oh, well, for me personally, um, I spent five years here. so. It's kind of sad knowing that my time here at SDSU is coming to an end. But looking back, I have a ton to be thankful for. Um, you know, I had a lot of great teammates over my years here, uh, a lot of great coaches, um, and, you know, like a lot of great personal memories. So it's kind of sad knowing that it's going to be over soon. But um, 
I'm just really thankful to have been here and had to have been an Aztec. So, um, my experience thus far has been nothing but uh, positive and positive vibes and um, positive people. Um, I couldn't ask for a better situation. And um, to his point, I think last year, I think I would have been worrying about uh, what move I would be making in the next four or five games, knowing that my season would be over. Um, you know, I wouldn't know what the next move for me would be. So to know that I'm heading into March Madness and putting myself in a position to um, chase my personal dreams and put myself in a position to play professionally basketball and be in front of scouts and things like that, um, I can't be anything but grateful. So um, to sum up my experience in one word is just, just to be grateful. And for me, um, I mean, it's probably been the best year of my life. Um, super stoked and grateful to be in this position. And like KJ said, I don't think I could have landed in a better situation. So, um, I mean, from the city of San Diego to the coaches and the whole staff of this program and everyone around this um, Aztec Nation have been incredible since the moment I stepped foot in uh, this city. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just grateful and appreciative for everything and being a part of this program. Do all three of you, because of your journeys, kind of have these two of you had no idea you would end up here. Um, and you came from a long way, no one would come here, and you didn't know how it would end up. But because of you didn't know how things would go, and, and, and there's been surprises and changes in your career, does is that give you a better perspective on a season like this? That I mean, is a complete unknown what happens you know, in, in two, three weeks? I just think it gives you a great perspective on life in general. Um, just coming from the positions that we were in, me and Yanni especially, um, going from losing a lot in your life in just a matter of months or years turning around and now you're on top, it just goes to show that, you know, when you're down, you just got to keep pushing even on your bad days. Even on the good days, you just got to keep going and keep going until you reach your final destination. And then this isn't our final destination right here. We just continue to elevate and we're, we'll continue to be successful people because we come and put the work in every day. So I think one um, life lesson I learned out of all of this is just to keep going. And on that one day, you'll look up and be right in front of your goals. How much more excitement does it add to your guys' journey this year, knowing that there's so much parity in college basketball this year with a lot of top teams losing? There doesn't seem to be this dominant tier of teams. How much more excitement and energy does that add to the journey? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty on who the best team is right now. Um, and, and I mean, that's exciting from teams from one through um, guys that are on the border, um, on the bubble of making the tournament. So um, yeah, I mean, it just shows that you can't take any game for granted. And you got to come with your best effort come February, late February, March, because you know anything's possible. Um, I think taking one loss doesn't make us any less dominant than we were before. I think that 26 wins is incredible, like like I've always said. And I think that one loss doesn't um, take away from what we've done all year. So I think we are the best team. And I think we have been a dominant team. So um, I don't necessarily agree with that statement. So I, I look forward to Tuesday for us getting back on our horse and letting everybody know that that was just a one-off game. And uh, we are the San Diego State team that you guys have known all year.